Hi everybody, happy Sunday night. Happy Sunday night. Hey everybody. Hello, 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 hello. I'm not going to be home long. I let everybody know a couple of weeks ago that my... I still call him a puppy because he literally wouldn't have... He wasn't even two years old. He would have turned two years old in September. But... I grew up a girl. I grew up a girl in the projects. My pets were roaches and rats. And and after my grandparents died, after my mother died and all of that stuff, this is crazy because I don't do this. My therapist suggested that a companion pet would be good for me. And I didn't think it would work because I was... Kelly Price from Edgemere Projects in New York City. And that wasn't supposed to mean a whole lot to me. Like, what in the world was a pet going to do for me? But I took my therapist's advice and I got a pet. And I named him Grandpa after my grandfather died. And Grandpa was killed by an animal that got into our yard. I let him out into the yard to go to the bathroom. And he was killed by an animal that got into our yard. And I've been trying to figure out, do I get another pet? Do I try? Like, nobody can ever be grandpa, but do I get another pet? Do I try to figure it out? Do I, whatever it is, to try to fill that gap? (sighs) He's been gone for a couple of weeks now. But I miss my doggy. I feel crazy saying this. I swear to God. I feel crazy saying this. <sighs> there will never be another grandpa. I just have I have to say that. I don't know what in the world happened, but he took on the persona of my grandfather. And he was a baby, but he acted like he was my daddy. That's the truth. And I can laugh about that in real life because he really, really thought that he was the boss of me. He really did. He really did. I'm reaching out because... I want to know if there is anybody who is out there who is or who knows a dog breeder, 
of small pets. What worked for me is that I was able to bring grandpa with me when I traveled. As well as have him as the most perfect at home pet. And there will never be another grandpa just like there. I'll never have another grandfather in the world, but there will never be another grandpa. Um, but if you know of someone who is a real dog breeder, I'm not talking about somebody. I, I believe that I'm, animals should be respected and groomed and raised and they should come into world, into the world healthy and all of those kinds of things. If you know of um, a real humane dog breeder, I'm looking for a small dog. People call them teacups. I'm okay with calling them teacups because it's a dog that needs to be small enough to be able to travel with me when I'm traveling for shows or if I have to be on set for a movie or a television show or whatever. But it's been a rough, rough, rough couple of weeks. And I miss my Never in my life did I think I could ever feel about a pet this way. But going into therapy post-COVID after losing so many family members and being so sick myself, my therapist suggested, just think about it. And I thought about it and I said, ah, oh, what could it hurt? And I miss my dog. I miss my dog. Nobody will ever take Grandpa's place. But I do know the joy that he brought to my life. I do know that he brought me peace and serenity and calmness in ways that I had never experienced before. <sighs> so again, if you know of a real dog breeder, I'm not talking about that. I'm not speaking about somebody who just raising dogs in their backyard and all kinds of... Because I've always seen great care of my dogs. Always, always, always. They eat the best. I chip them. I I take... They have health insurance. It's crazy. My dogs have health insurance. Isn't that crazy? When I was a kid, I didn't have health insurance. But I can afford to provide health insurance for my dogs. And life insurance for my dogs. I would love to see if I can find a dog that I can connect with. Many, because they need to be able to travel with me. Big dogs don't work in dressing rooms at concerts or on the sets of movies or television shows. So it has to be a small dog that I can travel with. If you know of someone who breeds dogs that legally, legally breeds dogs that... Um, fit that category, please, sir, please, ma'am, and I thank you in advance. Send me a message in my DMs. I thought that I would be okay and everything would be fine. But Grandpa was my companion, just like I was his, and I learned a lot about having a pet who 
you think you're doing so much for them, like you feed them, whatever, you bathe them, you do whatever. But he did so much for me. He did so much for me. I'm getting off live. Because this whole crying shit on live. It ain't what I do. (laughs) It's not what I do. But I miss my dog. And I know that there is a network of people out there. Who could probably help me find someone a lot quicker than I can. Um, I was going to say it doesn't matter what breed, but if it's an aggressive breed, I don't need one because I'm not used to aggressive dogs. But a, a dog that is being bred as a miniature, whatever breed it is, so that I can travel with the dog, whether I'm doing a concert or a television or a movie, or even going on vacation. Just a dog that I can take with me on an airplane, travel with no matter what. I didn't think that it would affect me like this. Yes. So, um, that's it. I love you guys. I appreciate you. Um, hit me in my DM. If you have any information, just hit me in my DM if you know of a legitimate dog groomer. Um, yeah, just hit me up and thank you in advance. I swear to God, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm on the West Coast, so it's still Sunday night here. Many of you, it's already Monday. Um, Just thank you. I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. God bless you.